All right, first thing, I want you to take a look at what I've got here on the floor. I've got these tape stripes, and I'm going to refer to these at times, but I just wanted to explain what's there, and I, I would suggest that you do something similar. It's just simple tape. You, you can peel it up periodically when it gets dirty and replace it, but it's going to help you a lot in positioning and reproducible positioning to make it, again, faster to use each day. Um, so just doing like simple things like supination and pronation with the 601, this, this uh, stripe that's right down the middle, it's lined up right with the middle of the uh, shaft, and it's right below it, and it just comes out about three feet. That one is going to be the most useful line. If you don't want to put all of these, if you at least put that center line, it's going to help a lot. Because now, when I, when I set somebody up to do supination and pronation, I'm going to tell a patient, push your foot right up next to that line, keep your feet shoulder width apart. That gives you near perfect alignment so that you're right on axis of rotation for supination and pronation. And then when you step over to the other side, same thing happens. Because <clears throat> I always found that when I was in the clinic and we didn't have the markings on the floor, sometimes they're off to the side too much and they're doing some flexion or they're the other way and they're extending. This keeps them right on axis. And then all you have to worry about is setting the height so you get the elbow at 90 degrees. 